Hey there, this new ruling is unbelievable. This will increase the cost across the board. It is crazy and outrageous. I'm gonna get into this and it's very real. Cosmetics, foods, home goods, TVs, phones, books, shipping and transportation, even the way you work and get paid. Certain freedoms will be lost and it is unbelievable. This is, you're gonna hear it here first probably because this is right now up for discussion, but you're not hearing about it. A ruling on a federal level that affects every state and every person. Cost on this could increase as much as 30%. Talk about inflation, right? Jobs being lost and the gig economy would be completely redefined. You may not know this, but most of the stuff, when you get stuff dropped off by FedEx, those are independent contractors. DoorDash, uh, Uber, Lyft, all independent contractors. Anybody who thinks they're self-employed today may literally not be self-employed. And that 79,000 employees at the IRS, this could be what they'll be working on. I have some wild information for you guys regarding today's video. The United States Department of Labor has the power to make millions of independent contractors employees, which would change the economy big. It would help, you know, taxi cab companies and other companies, but it would hurt so many people. Those of you who are independent contractors, freelancers, gig workers, or are you're probably aware, or maybe you're not aware that in order to file your taxes, you need to fill out a form called 1099 form. They probably had you fill it out. Well, you could write off your tires, your gas, all kinds of stuff. That would go away. So we're gonna talk about that. Because of this, the IRS is considering you, the people that are, Uber, Lyft drivers, gig economy, non-employees when you fill out that 1099. And as such, you're not eligible for benefits that come with a W-2 employees receiving. This reminds me of the strip clubs uh, owners that got sued by the strippers that, and this is not about that, but they sued them to say they were employees and not independent contractors because they wanted certain benefits. They actually got money from the actual owners that paid them because of it. Contract work has become essentially common during and after the pandemic when a lot of the people were laid off. So this ruling couldn't have come at a more tough time with the recession and inflation hitting. So we're gonna have to talk about that. My name's Andrew Cartwright. I'm all about finance. I'm really about getting your money, leveraging it and investing it. But this is a real threat we need to talk about. We need to understand it. I would love to know what you think about it in the comments. Making thousands, you know, is easy. Leveraging it, that's what this channel is for. And I've got loans that you can get in the description, 12 different programs, 75 different lenders. The link is in the description as well as a real estate program. If you're interested in that, a master's in real estate for only 99 bucks. And also you can get 15 free stocks with Moomoo, up to $30,000 are given away in stocks for opening up an account. So don't miss out on that. Those stocks are incredible. Also, Weeble has 12 stocks. So you can get two, 15 or 12, 27 total stocks. Absolutely incredible. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. I wanna start companies with you called Epic 99. That's also in the description. So fill that out if you wanna become partners. You own 81%, I own 19% for the selected 99 will be business partners. You do the work and I'll put up the capital. So let's talk about that. And this, this is definitely topical, right? More than a third of the US workers have engaged in independent contractors. That's 33%, right? Have worked past the preceding years and a percentage of low income US citizens, they rely on the gig employment to, you know, in a disproportionate sector. I mean, it's important that somebody can clock in maybe after hours and collect some money as an Uber driver when they want for a couple of hours. The rule, which will be formally issued Thursday and will serve as a guide for both judges and businesses will be open for discussion, public discussion for 45 days. With the final ruling expected, when it comes, it is going to be earth shattering. Why is this big? This means that if a worker is misclassified as a contractor, it opens them up for fewer safeguards. If they were employed, they would have those safeguards. And for their employment as well, they have possibly, you know, employment wage fraud. However, there are business lobbyist groups that have claimed that a wide law would be detrimental to employees who wish to maintain their autonomy and flexibility in a work schedule because you'd have to clock in and clock out no more freedom 
like you experience today. Because hiring contractors can result in 30% reduction in labor costs. Reclassifying people as employees would result in increased spending for businesses. However, the vast majority of those who work on an as-is basis report that they would rather not do so. This could spell horrible, horrible things for drivers who, who drive for Uber, Lyft, FedEx, DoorDash, and are considered part of the gig economy or just independent contractors. Lots of people that fill those shelves with Frito-Lay and stuff like that are a lot of times independent contractors and they're, this entitled ruling could change that sector completely. The problem is, however, that following the release of the news, the share price of Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash fell. So they believe this could potentially, big investors in Wall Street are thinking that this could actually go through. Now, quick review of this. In 2019, legislators in California passed AB5, a historic bill that reclassified many of the state's app-based gig workers as employees. App giants that spent over 200 million pushing for its drivers to be exempt from Prop 22, which was ultimately successful, but was found to be a violation of the Constitution after it was implemented. Interesting, right? Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, our constitutional rights. Do we still have those? It's possible to rewrite the playbook for gig workers. And that's very big news that they would rewrite it. And now they got a task force at the IRS of 79,000 people and billions to spend. I think it's $80 billion to follow up on all this stuff, enforce the rules and collect money, make sure these employees comply, as well as raise prices on us, you and I, by 30%. And actually, ultimately, they'd have to probably drive an Uber or Lyft car, not their own. Following the passage of AB5, though, both Uber and Lyft made filings with the SEC stating that the law would render their gig-dependent business models obsolete. I completely agree. I've seen this, done the math, it doesn't work. Companies are expected to do certain things for their employees, like pay minimum wage, pay overtime, pay into unemployment insurance, and pay a portion of their Social Security taxes which is another issue, right? Are you, how do we do that? Unlike the statute in California, the new plan for the labor department might have an effect across the entire country and everything you touch, buy, or even you directly. If this passes, what do you think will happen to the gig economy? Do you think it'll go away? What's going to happen here? And is this a new way for them to restructure the whole country and make everyone really employees that have to pay at least 20 or 30% in taxes so that they can collect that? Where so many independent contractors can write off their insurance, they can write off their tires, their clothes, everything they use for business and minimize their tax burden because they get huge tax breaks for working as an independent contractor contractor or self-employed. So I would love to know your thoughts. My name is Andrew Cartwright. If you want to play as far as owning a business, let me know. Hit that Epic 99, grab those 15 free stocks, the 12 free stocks. My connects, Instagram, everything are in the description as well. Take care. Let me know what you think of this bill.